With its mountain backdrop and urban beaches, Vancouver has the rightly earned reputation of being one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Downtown Vancouver is superbly situated on a peninsula in the Strait of Georgia, bounded to the south by the delta of the Fraser River, and to the north by a deep fjord reaching far inland. Also to the north, gleam the often snow-covered ranges of the coast mountains. With its extensive parks and agreeable climate keeping temperatures mild throughout the year, Vancouver is a paradise for outdoor activities. But it also boasts a busy cultural life, fantastic shopping, and incredible dining. So here is the list of the 17 best things to do in Vancouver, British Columbia. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Stanley Park. Located on the peninsula, Stanley Park offers a natural escape just steps from downtown Vancouver. The edge of the park carves along the bay, providing excellent biking and a place for casual strolls. Beyond the water, you'll find another top attraction on this list, the Vancouver Aquarium. While the park offers a beautiful skyline and ocean views, Stanley Park is a great spot for an afternoon picnic with space for yard games. In the summer, the heated public pool is open, bringing excited families along for the afternoon. While in spring, colors burst through the landscape, including vibrant cherry trees. Number 2. Granville Island. This former industrial site is now one of Vancouver's most beloved neighborhoods. Practically its own mini-city, Granville Island's former factories now house trendy restaurants, galleries and theaters. But the main draw here is the Granville Island Public Market, often described as one of the best open-air markets in North America. Among the seemingly endless aisles of fresh produce and local crafts, you'll find a variety of food stalls selling everything from baked goods to ethnic snacks. If the weather is nice, try and grab a seat outside by the water. You can watch ferry boats putter back and forth in English Bay while enjoying the performances of the buskers who regularly play for market crowds. Number 3. Queen Elizabeth Park. From one park to another, Queen Elizabeth Park has a bit of everything. The center of the park known as Little Mountain is the highest point in the city and is a great place to go for a sunset or to see the snow-capped peaks to the north. While Stanley Park is all about nature, Queen Elizabeth Park is fun-packed. Come here for mini and disc golf, tennis courts, and the Bloedel Conservatory. The latter features an illuminated geodesic dome. Also in the urban park is the Quarry Garden. The repurposed quarry comes with a spectacular entrance and is a wonderful place to walk on a clear day. Number 4. Grouse Mountain. We love to get out in nature no matter where we go, and Grouse Mountain is one of the best places to visit in Vancouver at any time of year. While it offers plenty of winter activities, it's the most visited natural attraction in Vancouver year-round. Grouse Mountain is one of the North Shore Mountains of the Pacific Range, and just a 20-minute drive from the city center. The mountain has two cable cars. The Super Skyride is the main one, and can carry about 100 passengers at once from the valley to the top of the mountain. A round-trip Skyride ticket is included with general admission, which you can purchase in advance here along with a complimentary shuttle from Vancouver downtown. The great thing about Grouse Mountain is that it's open year-round. Depending on the season, you can enjoy mountain biking, hiking, echo walks, paragliding, disc golf, zip lining, ice skating, skiing, or snowboarding. Number 5. Museum of Anthropology. It's easy to be dazzled by Vancouver's geographical splendor, but to properly get acquainted with this city, you have to start at the beginning, the very beginning. Vancouver and what is known as the Lower Mainland was populated some 10,000 years ago. Overlooking the Burrard Inlet, on campus at the University of British Columbia, 
the Museum of Anthropology offers up a mosaic of Aboriginal works, both ancient and contemporary, all weaving together a story that is rarely told to visitors of this great city. If you really want to learn about the city's roots and its relationship with the global community, this is one of the most important things to do in Vancouver. Number 6. Kitsilano Beach. The sandy shoreline of Kitsilano Beach defines the laid-back, fun-loving Vancouver lifestyle. It's a place locals hang out with friends or take a dip in the outdoor heated seawater swimming pool. The wide beach here is popular with sunbathers in the summer. Views from Kitsilano over the city center are wonderful. In addition to the beach and oceanfront, the area has a number of cafes and walking trails, and a vibrant shopping strip lies a few blocks south on West 4th Avenue. A short stroll to the east of Kitsilano is Vanier Park, where you'll find wide open spaces and the Vancouver Maritime Museum. Catch a small aquabus to downtown Vancouver or Granville Island from the docks located here. Number 7. Canada Place. Canada Place is home to the iconic white sails that dominate Vancouver's skyline, see above photo. From here, visitors are treated to unobstructed views of Burrard Inlet and the North Shore Mountains. It's located beside the Vancouver Convention Center and Jack Pool Plaza and Gastown, so you can include all of these Vancouver attractions in your sightseeing tour. You can walk from Coal Harbor to Gastown in less than an hour. Canada Place is also home to the Vancouver Cruise Ship Terminal, so it gets quite busy during the summer months. This cruise ship terminal can hold up to four luxury cruise ships at one time. It's the home port for many of the Alaska cruises that depart from Vancouver. Inside Canada Place is the popular virtual flight ride Flyover Canada. The complete Flyover Canada experience lasts approximately 25 minutes. Number 8. The Vancouver Aquarium. If you've ever wanted to get up close and personal with what lies beneath the frigid waters of the Pacific Ocean, or what's living above in canopies of the Brazilian Amazon, the Vancouver Aquarium gives you that opportunity. One of North America's largest aquariums, and conveniently located in the heart of Stanley Park, this attraction is one of the most popular things to do in Vancouver. There is lots to see, and as the aquarium sees a regular rotation of unique exhibits, you may want to give yourself at least a day to come nose to nose with belugas and learn about how essential the salmon is here in the coastal ecosystem. Number 9. Capilano Suspension Bridge. Having the moniker of Vancouver's first tourist attraction may make visitors wonder if the site is outdated. Yet the city's suspension bridge, which opened in 1889, continues to wow and thrill those that walk across to this day. The 70M footbridge connects two sides of a deep canyon, with hiking trails and outdoor adventures waiting on the other side. The bridge sees a lot of visitors, so it's one of those attractions that are well worth getting up early for. Conveniently, you can catch a free shooting to the Capilano Suspension Bridge from downtown Vancouver. Once you've arrived, up the ante by experiencing the transparent cliff walk. Number 10. Van Dusen Botanical Garden. Often described by travelers as a hidden gem, the Van Dusen Botanical Garden is spread across 55 acres in the center of Vancouver. Recent visitors called the garden very peaceful. The garden features several sections, including a stone garden and a hedge maze a favorite among past visitors. But perhaps the most popular feature of Van Dusen is the Laburnum Walk, described on the garden's website as the most photographed area of its 55 acres. The path is made memorable by the yellow, chain-like blooms that hang from the laburnum branches. You can explore all of the garden's meandering paths with a self-guided tour pamphlets are available at the Garden Information Desk. Number 11. English Bay. Oceanfront English Bay centers on one of the city's loveliest and busiest beaches. Part of the West End neighborhood, English Bay offers shopping and high-end restaurants, but is also a popular outdoor area where people come to walk, bike, rollerblade, or hang out with the public art installations. English Bay is not far from Stanley Park, 
and a waterfront trail joins the two. The beach is strewn with large tree trunks, which make a perfect backrest for sunbathers. One of the biggest events of the summer is the celebration of light. Generally occurring around the last week of July, spectacular fireworks are set to music. Another popular event is the New Year's Day polar bear swim, when hardy swimmers take a dip in the chilly Pacific waters. Number 12. Science World. When traveling around Vancouver, there's a chance you would have noticed the huge metal dome structure on False Creek. What you may not know, however, is that it's home to one of the top things to do in Vancouver with kids. The family-friendly Science World features 12 interactive exhibits designed to get you thinking about how the world works. Activities range from exploring motion, water, and the history of inventions. The 12 exhibits are complemented by various touring exhibitions that have been a part of renowned museums and other science centers. Once you're all done exploring, kick back and watch a show on the massive five-story dome screen. The largest of its kind on Earth. Number 13. Chinatown. Beyond the ornate Millennium Gate marking its entrance, Vancouver's exotic and interesting Chinatown features modern buildings amid many older ones dating from Victorian times. Signs at shops and restaurants are often written in Chinese characters, particularly along East Pender, Kiefer, and Main Streets, the main shopping areas. Local attractions include the pretty walled Dr. Sun Yat-sen classical Chinese garden, modeled after a traditional garden from the Ming Dynasty. Also worth seeing is the Sam Key Building, which at barely 2 meters wide, claims to be the narrowest office building in the world. Every year, Chinese New Year is celebrated with an exuberant parade. Number 14. Whale Watching. Vancouver is a fun city to explore, but beyond the city limits lies an incredible place to see migrating whales. Off the coastline of British Columbia, eager whale watchers keep their eyes peeled for grey and humpback whales. The whale watching season begins in March as the temperatures begin to rise and last until October. You'll discover plenty of ways to see these beautiful beasts, whether that be from a private dinghy, touring boat or from above in a plane. Beyond whales, it's common to spot orcas and mink on your journey. Number 15. Gastown Steam Clock. Located near Waterfront Station in downtown Vancouver, the iconic Gastown Steam Clock has been attracting tourists for decades. Originally built in 1977, this working steam clock is one of the only functioning steam-powered clocks in the world. The Gastown Steam Clock whistles and blows its steam every 15 minutes to the delight of onlookers. It's a cheesy tourist -a thing to do, but you'll be glad you took a few minutes to check it out. While in Gastown, admire its old cobblestone roads and unique architecture before wandering inside the many shops, art galleries and restaurants in Gastown. We like to grab a pint of craft beer at Steamworks Brew PUB. It's one of our favorite restaurants in Vancouver. Number 16. Lonsdale Key Market. Another great place to view the impressive Vancouver skyline is the Lonsdale Key Market in North Vancouver. The market has a variety of shops selling everything from fresh produce to craft beer to souvenirs. Here's a list of vendors in the Lonsdale Key Market. We recommend you grab a bowl of freshly made soup at the Soupmeister, a local favorite, and enjoy it outside on the boardwalk. After lunch, walk to the pier and historical shipyards and check out the city views. In the summer, the shipyards host a night market on Friday evenings. For the best sunset views, climb to the top of the lookout tower at Lonsdale Key or walk to nearby Waterfront Park. Number 17. Vancouver Art Gallery. One of the other cultural things to do in Vancouver is to visit an art gallery. The Vancouver Art Gallery is where you can see the city's greatest collection of fine art, all nestled in a neoclassical courthouse. It's the largest public art museum in Western Canada and makes for a nice way to spend a few hours. The art gallery contains over 10,000 pieces by North American and Vancouver artists. 
The works span a variety of media, including photographs, paintings, sketches, and ceramics. The facility holds complimentary tours and lectures. Admission is CAD $23 for adults or by donation on Tuesdays. The last word. So guys, this was the best list of things to do in Vancouver. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Vancouver is an outdoor enthusiast playground, with three world-class mountains all within a 15-minute drive from downtown, hundreds of parks and campsites, thousands of hiking trails, one of the world's longest seawalls and countless rivers and lakes to explore. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then Tripwire is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming travel videos. Bye bye, see you in the next video.